Hello everybody, it has been a while, and today I thought I'd open up with a Call of Duty World at War tutorial series reboot. Um, if you guys remember my old tutorial series, I taught you guys how to make a zombie map in Call of Duty World at War. And today I'm going to reboot that series because I found with the old series that a lot of you were having problems where you couldn't even compile your map at all. Uh, you had script compile errors, um, and there were assets missing and different errors like that. And I thought... And I look back and I'm like, you know what, I had these problems as well. And I found that right from the start, uh, things were missing and I didn't explain it properly. And that's why a lot of you were running into problems. So I thought, hey, I'll just reboot the entire series and make it better or go through better methods and etc. So today we're just going to be installing the mod tool files and making sure all our game updates are in there. Uh, and we're going to get it all set up for the next tutorial when we're actually going to start building our maps and doing all the fun stuff. But unfortunately, we have to do the setup before we can do anything. So we're not going to be touching the launcher much today. We are just going to go ahead and minimize that and keep that out of our minds. So what you're actually going to do is you're going to go ahead and go download this folder in the description below. Uh, it's going to be a RAR file. There's going to be a link to this wonderful folder I have compiled. And it will have everything you are going to need. Game updates, mod tools, and the script placers. This is one thing we didn't use last time, and that is part of the reason we ran into all the problems we did, was because we didn't have a script placer, and we are going to use that, because it's going to make our lives much better and easier. So, you're going to download this file, and there's going to be more files than this. I just started compiling this. When this goes with the video, there's going to be instructions and possibly other folders in here, but... Uh, there's going to be instructions in case you forget in this video or if there's anything that I missed. And yeah, so before you even think about needing these mod tool files that I have compiled, the first thing you're actually going to need is Call of Duty World at War to begin with, because you cannot make a custom map without Call of Duty World at War. Now, there are a few ways you can obtain this. You can obtain it through Steam. I believe it's $20. Uh, that's how I have mine. You can also get it on CD at like GameStop or wherever you can buy World at War on for the PC on disc anymore. And there are other methods of, of obtaining it. And yeah, so if you get it on Steam, you're in the best shape. Because if you have it on Steam, I don't believe you have to touch the game updates folder at all. Because I installed it from Steam, and as soon as I launched it, I already had all of the updates. I had Dear Reese, I had Shino Numa. I didn't need the game updates, so you won't need to touch this folder. If you have it any other method, then you will need to. Now, once you have World at War installed and you're all ready to go, you're going to need to go into the Game Updates folder. And here you're going to find sequentially numbered RAR files, uh, similar to what I have in the Mod Tools. I'm not going to go into the actual um, Game Updates file because I don't have anything in there yet because I'm still setting it all up. Uh, but basically, it's going to be like this, and you're going to have the names here that you don't really need to care about, but it keeps it nice and organized and tidy. And then you're going to have the numbers. Now, you're going to want to make sure you extract these to your World at War direct, uh, directory in order. This might be part of the problem that you guys were having earlier, is that you need to install the updates, the mod tools, and everything in order. Because files are going to be overwritten, and they need to be overwritten properly. So what you're going to do is you're going to find these. There's a set of instructions in case you forget this. And you're going to extract them one by one. So you're going to go into original mod tools. When you get to the mod tools, you're going to extract it. And you're going to go to number two and extract that. And you're going to want to make sure you do it in order. Uh, just to show you what some of these look like, I'm going to go into the fourth one here. And yeah, so there's the mod tool files that you can extract. Once you have the game updates and the mod tools, you can go ahead and go into script placers. This is the only one I currently have in there, Script Placer Z from ZombieModding.com. Awesome website for tutorials if you guys ever want to go there. And there is going to be other Script Placers in here as well when you go to download it. But we are going to be using Script Placer Z. So I'm going to put a mark or something to keep that at the top because that's what I'm going to be using in the tutorials. So if you want to make sure you don't run into any problems later, or if we do, I can fix them with you. You want to use this one, not any of the other ones I'm going to have in here. Now, one question you might have is, where do I extract them to? So that's a good question. So we're going to go ahead and go to the PC, local disk, program files, times 86, most likely, because most people are running on 64-bit architectures now. Uh, oops, not one, wrong one. Uh, we need to go to Steam. Steam. 
So if you have Steam, you're going to go into the Steam folder in your program files. You're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, and you're going to find Call of Duty World at War. And here is your root directory. Now, if you have a fresh install or you haven't installed the mod tools before, your file is going to be much smaller than this. You're not going to have all these folders and files. Um, it's going to be much more concise because uh, this is this is because I have everything installed, uh, which you most likely don't if you're watching this. If you do, you can just go ahead and skip the next video. So, this is if you have Steam. If you do not have Steam, you will most likely be going to Program Files times 86, Activision, and then Call of Duty World at War up here. But I have Steam, so I go here. And you are going to install everything from the RAR, um, everything from my uh, folder, even the script placers, you are going to install in this root folder. Not in main, uh, not in raw, you're going to install it directly into this root folder because there are folders in here that are going to be merged and added into the root folder and you want to make sure you extract them properly. Once you have all these extracted, we can go ahead on to the next video and we can start designing maps. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.